Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we begin this Mass, let us beg God's forgiveness let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity they may ever be watchful in keeping your commands through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen please be seated a reading from the book of the prophet micah shepherd your people with your staff the flock of your inheritance that dwells apart in a woodland in the midst of Carmel. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead as in the days old, as in the days when you came from the land of Egypt. Show us wonderful signs. Who is there like you, the God who removes guilt and pardon sin for the remnant of his inheritance. Who does not persist in anger forever, but delights rather 
in clemency and will again have compassion on us, treading underfoot our guilt. You will cast into the depths of the sea all our sins. You will show faithfulness to Jacob and grace to Abraham as you have sworn to our fathers from days of old. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Lord, show us your mercy and love. You have favored, O Lord, your hand. You have brought back the captives of Jacob. You have forgiven the guilt of your people. You have covered all their sins. You have withdrawn all your wrath. You have revoked your burning anger. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Restore us, O God, our Savior, and abandon your displeasure against us. Will you be ever angry with us, prolonging your anger to all generations? Lord, show us your mercy and love. Will you not instead give us life, and shall not your people rejoice in you? Show us, O Lord, your kindness, and grant us your salvation. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Please stand. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, Your mother and your brothers are outside are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to, one, to the one who told him, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, as Jesus said in our Gospel today, here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and my sister and my mother. Jesus stretched out his hands, probably to point to the people gathered around him. But that stretching of the hand of Jesus is symbolic of who our God is. Our God is a God of stretching. 
And He invites us to stretch not only our hands, but especially our hearts. Jesus invites us to stretch our hearts so that we may love more people. We have the tendency of being selective in the people we love. We select only the people we want to be good to. We select the people we relate with. But today, Jesus invites us, stretch your hearts. Do not limit your love only to your families and friends. Stretch your hearts so that your heart may accommodate more people. Stretch your hearts so that your generosity, your goodness, your kindness may be extended to many others. Stretch your heart so that you may love more people. But it is not just enough to stretch our heart to love more people. God invites us to something more. We stretch our hearts also so that we may love people more. We are not just talking about the quantity of people we love, but also the quality of the love we give to others. In our first reading today, the prophet Micah talks of the forgiving love of God that his people experienced. As we heard in our first reading today, the prophet Micah says, Who is there like you, the God who removes guilt and pardons sins for the remnant of his inheritance? Who does not persist in anger forever, but delights rather in clemency? That is how God stretches his heart, by being patient to us, by understanding us, by forgiving us, by loving us more. And so we stretch our hearts so that the quality of our love for others may be better. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus invites us to do a little stretching. Stretch your heart so that you may love more people. Stretch your heart that you may love people more. Please stand. Gathered together as a community, let us ask God our Father for our needs. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may become a true family, faithful to the will of the Father and to the teachings of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government leaders may not enact laws or initiate programs contrary to our faith and morals. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That families may become true brothers and sisters by their love for one another as willed by Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show concern for those suffering in any form, that we may lighten their burdens and help them to keep trusting in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed 
may come to their everlasting home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We pray for the people who need our prayers and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Loving Father, help us to become your faithful children who are obedient to your holy will. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants, and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, the highest. highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord. And be those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.